it's a very beautiful location, very beautiful setting. Like, look at those views. Even though the weather's not great, but we're gonna make the most of it today. So I'm happy we're here. It's lovely. Welcome, my fellow Cerulians. Today is Sunday. On our way to Sky Gardens, it is, right? Yeah, Sky Gardens. Sky Gardens in... I think it's in Monument. Is it in Monument? I'm not even entirely I sure. Don't know where it is. But um, <laughs> Sky Gardens, you know, the Gherkin building in London. So, is it actually in the Gherkin? Yeah, it's in the Gherkin. Oh, I didn't know that. Sky Gardens. Because you said walkie talkie. Michigan. Sorry, did I? Is it walkie talkie? Sorry, sorry. Gherkin? It's not in the Gherkin. It's in the walkie talkie building. Okay. I don't know the official name for the building, but yeah, it's the walkie talkie building. Um, a bit frustrated because we're getting a little bit excited. A couple of days we've been getting some good weather in London, some good mm -hmm. sunshine. All of a sudden, the day that we want to go to Sky Gardens, it's muggy, it's wet, it looks miserable outside. But yeah, but we're still gonna go and try and have as much fun as possible. Yeah. Darwin Brasserie, come here for the weekend brunch. And the weekend brunch, you get a starter buffet, you get a dessert buffet, and several mains in the kitchen. So I think I might go for the full English breakfast, which is your typical bacon, sausages, grilled tomatoes, baked beans, and portobello mushrooms. I will be removing the tomatoes, so I'm not a fan of tomatoes. Kind of tried what before? Bloody Mary. I didn't order it, I sipped it from my colleague's cup when I was in Hawaii because she had ordered a Bloody Mary and I ordered my typical um, slushy mojito which was really nice. It was like um, a coconut mojito drink. It was beautiful. If you guys ever go to Hawaii, stay at the modern Honolulu Hotel and order yourselves a coconut mojito by the pool. Incredible, incredible. Oh, oh, so you, you have to order it by the pool. That's that's like that's a that's a requirement. You you don't only just have to order the coconut mojito, it has to be by the pool as well. We've ordered um Moe and she wants to get a bloody Mary. I've known this woman for nearly six years and I feel like I don't even know her anymore. A Bloody Mary? Like, who, who does that? Like, no, 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 that's wrong. Boy, you, you can do what you like. You can do what you like. All I want is to try one for myself. A nice glass as well. Oh, thank you so much. You know, I won't lie, I'm, I'm, now, I'm now a little bit intrigued. I want to try this Bloody Mary because 
I don't know, just the fact that she likes it is making me a bit curious. I would never order this. Nah. Not for me, not for me. But I can see why I can see why some people would like it. It's not as it's not as tomato y as I thought. To me it's not a drink. To me it's like um Do you know what? To me it's like drinking cold soup. That's what it tastes like to me. So if it was warm, if it was heated up and it was warm, I, I would enjoy it. Reminds me it, it has a kick, something similar to um was this tomato soup we had at Quillon? Um, which is an Indian restaurant. I can't remember where it is. But anyway, I'll leave the card. I think it's up there. Uh, so for you guys to see one of my one of my first uh, food reviews. So you have to excuse me for like the, the poor camera quality. But the soup there was nice and it does remind me of it. I can taste the celery as well. The celery is really coming through. But I don't know. I think the fact that it's cold, it just seems wrong to me. It just seems wrong to me. Everything's fine. A few moments later. So I told this girl that she's not gonna like her Bloody Mary, but she didn't listen. <laughs> so are you gonna finish it? Nah, it's not for me, guys. Not I me. thought I would love it more than I do, but never again. Bottle of champagne, the sitting on ice, and she goes ahead and buy a Bloody Mary. Why? Who does that? I mean, what whole bottle? Whole bottle. Quite a selection of meats. So I think that's, well, quinoa, some braai, some, I believe that's cheddar, ham, that looks like, I don't know, salami, smoked uh, salmon, some biscuits, some bread that was dressed in some rosemary, and some butter, of course, and breadsticks. So we just found out that the Bloody Marys actually come free with the buffet. The frustrating thing is, it's the only drink that comes free with a buffet. You can't get anything else. So um, if you're coming, if you're coming to Darwin Brasserie and you're a fan of Bloody Mary, this is right up your street. If not, be prepared to splash out a little bit more for other drinks. First impressions, really impressed. Got a healthy portion of bacon, got three sausages, no complaints there. Got the tomato removed and replacing it with the sausage wasn't an issue. Got the egg, beans, toast, butter, everything. Let's try these sausages. Compare them to the loni. I'll be honest, I can already tell the sausages they use, it's not a good quality sausage. Try this bacon. Bacon's decent. It's not crispy though. Quite, it's quite a mouthful. There's a lot of chewing going on. It's quite a meaty, it's got a very firm, very very firm. I do prefer my bacon crispy but this is good. It's got a lot of flavour. It's not a lot of fat, no. I mean the sausages, yeah. I actually do like them. I think I'm gonna take it back. The sausages are good. They're not cheap. I'm wrong for that. I'm sorry Sorodians. It's not cheap but at the same time I don't find it uh, very juicy. It's moist. It's got a lot of flavour. It's got a buttery texture. The meat inside. I love it when I ask for my fried eggs to be well done and they get it well done. That's perfect. Oh, that is perfect. That's a perfectly fried egg. Here's a decent breakfast. Much better than the shoe. Far, far better than the shoe. But not better than the Deloney though. The Deloney is better than hell. 
I do think it's overpriced for what it is. I think maximum it should be 35 instead of 45. 45 is quite high for what you're getting. So, I finished my starters and my main, and um, it's time for me to go and relieve myself a little bit, you know, make a little bit more room. Now nah, I'm joking, I'm joking. I don't do that, I don't do that in public toilets, nah, never the case. But anyway, it's that time to go to the little boy's room and show you exactly what state it's in. Let's go. I'm not gonna lie. I'll just look at it. The toilet. You got the two flushes. One for if you're, you know, taking a leak. Another one if you're doing, you know, you're doing your real business. Got that ceramic bowl. Moisturizer, hand lotion, hand wash. You get your hand dryer. Does it work? Yes, it does. And your little bin. You even got the, uh, I don't even know what these things are called, but you know, you use it to clean the, you know that area where if you make a little bit of a mess. But yeah, it's clean and it smells fantastic, guys. So we just finished from Darwin Brasserie. It was decent. I don't think the value was that great, but... Uh, I'm absolutely stuffed though. You? I'm full, guys. So I could just go home, get in bed with my nice warm duvet, and I'm done for the day. I'm very full up. It was good though. I did enjoy it. I enjoyed the views. I enjoyed the experience. Mm. The food was good. It wasn't. The food wasn't great. Like, it wasn't great. It wasn't you know, great. But what you get is not great. But you're paying for the experience you're paying mm. for the venue you're paying I for think the, if it was if it was pressed more around more like around 30 pounds I would have definitely given this place here but I just think that for for the money that you're spending I mean in total the bill was 222 pounds so a bottle of water was four pounds no surprise there the, uh, the champagne that was 105 pounds but the meal that we had together was £89 and it just wasn't it wasn't it wasn't mind-blowing. Mm. It, it wasn't great. It was just alright. So yeah, that's I mean you can't really go wrong with the full English breakfast. And that's what we both got. So it was It's it funny was okay. that though, because I think what I enjoyed the most was the stars. Oh really? Yeah, the stars. But they were quite light. And um, I was thinking I would go for seconds, but after having the main that, yeah, no that wasn't way. happening because even the dessert was a bit the of a struggle. The dessert was a big struggle. It was a big struggle. I so didn't even have my own plate of dessert. Yeah, so the fact that they say you get unlimited stars and dessert, it's a bit deceiving because you're not really going to go ham. And you only have two hours. Unless to you're eat a beast. Food. Unless you're a beast. Exactly. You only have two hours as well. So um, yeah, we're done. But I think now because we're we're feeling really sluggish, Fair we're just gonna time. take. The